To install a new chain, you want to make sure that you're using the correct size. So uh, to find out the this, this size of your chain, basically it's the speeds of your, uh, of your bicycle. So in the rear here, you'll see if you count each cog, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's nine cogs here. Um, it'll be anywhere usually from five cogs to now there's 11 cogs. And you need a special chain uh, for each one of those, um, each, each size. Basically the chain width is different for each size. So um, <coughs> you find your box that says a nine speed chain. Um, and uh, you take out the chain. We'll just use the old chain just to, as an example here. Um, and you're going to shift your gears all the way up to the largest or lowest gear in the back, and then all the way up to your highest and largest gear in the front. So this is how you're going to size your chain to make sure that it's the proper length and that you're not going to have too much slack or not enough. So you want to make sure you're weaving the chain through just the way that it came out, making sure it's going along these rollers and through the proper way. So now that you're on the two largest cogs, so the largest in the back and the largest in the front, you're going to stretch your chain all the way till the derailleur can't stretch anymore. So that's where you're going to break your chain. You're going to add one link. So one full length link is right here, that size right there. Um, you add that and cut off the rest, and that's the length of your chain. So it'd be, it would look like this um, when it's put together. So the way to put together this chain um, is they use a pin. So it comes in these little packets here. Different chains require different insulation. Um, this chain requires a pin, which you'd have to get at a bike shop um, according to whichever size chain you have, and this is a Shimano specific pin. Um, they also have quick links, which I demonstrated before, so these are the quick links. Or um, the chain may already have the pin installed on one side, it's just coming out of one side of the chain, and then you can push it through um, to, uh, to connect properly. So now that you have the sizing correct, and you have your pin, make sure that you're shifting down to whatever is the smallest cog in the front and whatever is the smallest cog in the back. So you have a lot of slack and you can actually even take it off your, uh, your chain ring in the front so it's nice and loose. And then you're going to take the basically a, a male and female side, put them together and then put the pin through and that holds them together. <laughs> 